Over the last few weeks, I've talked about a lot of different projects I've personally invested in, from Cardano-based projects to Polygonmatic-based projects to meme coins and many more. And these have yielded 5x, 10x, even 20x returns in some cases. So today's video, I want to talk about an up-and-coming project that is having an IDO on June 1st, 2023. It's called Passenger. Symbol is a uh, Ego, E-G-O, and they are going to be having a listing after that on June 5th, 2023. So this is coming up very soon. I haven't been able to invest in it yet, but I wanted to be able to tell you about it before I personally invested in it so we can both get in at the exact same time. Because a lot of you guys say, I tell you after I invest in a project, there's already an opportunity lost. So I wanted to tell you before I even invested in it so we could both do it at the same time. So for those of you who aren't familiar, Passenger is a project that has grown tremendously over the last few months. We've seen them grow to about 80,000 followers on Twitter, amass a massive community on other social platforms as well. And ultimately what it is, is it is an exciting platform, in my opinion, that is catering to the creator economy, like to creators, experts, and their audience. And ultimately the way it works is Passenger offers a variety of different ways for monetization and active engagement among subscribers. So when you're looking at different platforms right now, YouTube is the easiest to monetize. But if you're a creator on Twitter or TikTok or many other platforms, it's not as easy. So with Passenger, they're going to make it so creators can generate um, like their normal content that they like. They could sell posts on the NFT marketplace, easily collaborate with um, sponsors and brands directly through the platform. And ultimately, the platform operates with its own very, uh, with its very own native token called Ego, E-G-O, which is the token that is going to be launching soon. So this platform already has about 500,000 users, 50,000 creators. We'll go over all the details there. But because of this massive audience, they've already been able to accumulate accumulate this user base they've been able to accumulate I'm expecting really big things for this token it's having its initial market cap of $292,000 which is extremely low and considering how big their user base is how big their following is I'm expecting this project to easily do a 10x easily easily do a 10x so we'll see what happens there but I just want to share with you a few specific reasons as to why I'm going to be buying this token on its IDO on Trustpad on June 1st so most projects in the social fi space, they don't try to tackle the problem between transitioning between Web 2 and Web 3. But Passenger is doing exactly this. The founders is ultimately having a mission to promote the adoption of blockchain technology and introduce crypto to as many people as possible. So given like the relatively slow mainstream acceptance of crypto in recent years by like mainstream audiences, like we saw a big, like big mainstream adoption in late 2021. But other than that, it's been relatively slow. So Passenger is ultimately trying to play a major role in driving forward crypto widespread adoption. So the main reasons why I'm going to be buying this token, there's a few of them. First of which is that main net transition and token demand for this project. As I said, they have a large user base. And because of this, they are currently using a test token called T. EGO, which is like their test net, but they've already announced that they're going to be transitioning to mainnet EGO very, very soon. And this is automatically going to have demand for the token. If people were already using the test net TEGO, they're automatically going to be using EGO. So there's already that built in demand. Second thing is that they have plans to expand very quickly. Passenger has announced on many social media platforms in their roadmap that they're going to be kicking off a massive campaign with new business partners in Europe, USA, and around the world in August of 2023 after they launch their token. So they're going to get thousands of influencers to help spread the word, help promote the project, and this is going to garner a lot more attention towards this project. Third thing is really that they've seen a lot of support from prominent players in the crypto space. And I'm not talking about influencers. I'm talking about big main companies that people know about, like Polygon. They've had um, institutions like Polygon and Consensus the company behind MetaMask, have shown active support for um, Passenger. And that's another huge thing that I think is really important for the project um, in seeing this massive growth after it launches, which is why I am investing in it. Now I want to talk a little bit about a different approach. So when we're looking at um, some of the team members and founders, first thing is going to be that they are building their own AI. Passenger is partnering and teaming up with a former Stanford professor and this 
is something that they're doing to help build their own AI. So this former Stanford professor is an expert on artificial intelligence. His name is Dr. Tamai Aikut. And if we've looked at artificial intelligence in the crypto space over the last few months, we can see that artificial intelligence has performed extremely well. Whether you're talking about the stock market, crypto space, meme coins, it doesn't matter. It's performed very well. So seeing that they are having former Stanford professor helping to build their own AI, integrate it into their platform, I think that is only going to help with the value of the project long term. In addition to that, you can look at some of their founders. Um, for one of their founders was actually the owner of Unlimited Group, which is a billion dollar business and an official partner of Visa and MasterCard. So seeing that as well only makes me more bullish. They have partners at Stanford University, like former professors at Stanford University, as well as people who have experience building billion dollar brands, partnering with some of the biggest companies in the world. And it's great to have those people on board and helping to push the project forward. That's something that I definitely like to see. Switching gears, let's talk a little bit about NFTs. So with NFTs, passengers creating like an entire new perspective for the NFT space. You can see on their website that they have like on the top, you can see it says creators, feed, requests, and NFT marketplace. With NFT marketplace, uh, creators can easily sell their posts as NFTs. But what's more important with this is that NFTs on their platform are getting like an entire new feature that I've really not yet seen utilized. And ultimately, the way it works is the platform is going to reward EGO tokens to the most popular NFTs every single week, ultimately turning like the purchase of an NFT into, into like a form of staking. Because if you own an NFT and it's the most popular on the platform for that week, well, then you're actually going to get free money. You're going to get sent out EGO tokens for simply holding that NFT, which I have not yet seen anyone do. It's just saying, oh, if you hold this NFT, like, congrats, it was the best performing, most uh, viewed, so you're going to get some tokens. That's something I have not yet seen. Last few things I want to go over is going to be with their IDO, user base, things like that. So like I said earlier in the video, they have a massive user base already with over 500,000 users and 50,000 creators. Passenger already has demonstrated mass adoption, and because of this, when they have their IDO, um, it is going to drive all these users, all these creators who are already participating on the platform to want to buy the token. If you're using the platform and you're you know, posting on the platform, you're obviously going to want to be a part of the project. So it's going to increase that demand automatically. And that is my opinion, why I think it's going to go from easily a $290,000 market cap to easily $3 million. It's easily going to do a 10x from when it launches. So something just to keep an eye out on. And it's also already been recognized as a hot top IDO for 2023. We could see that it re received an award at the Crypto Expo in Dubai. It's received a number of other rewards and it's just gotten a lot of recognition for being one of the top projects to watch in 2023. So when you're looking at this project moving forward, there's just a few things that I'm excited about. I'm excited about how it already has a massive user base, massive um, adoption already. It's been embraced by the crypto community on Twitter. It has already about 80,000 followers, and it's launching with such a low market cap, with just a $292,000 initial market cap. So this is something that is just really shocking to me that it's launching with this low of a market cap. And when it does go live on uh, Trustpad on June 1st, I am going to be buying some. I know a lot of you guys say that I do videos after I've already bought tokens and I need to let you know before I buy them. So that's why I wanted to do this video. Make sure it got out before I actually bought some tokens. So let me know your thoughts on this. I'm excited to take part in it. Let me know if you are as well. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya.